Hello, I'm the Knotman, and today I'm going to show you how to make a nice shelter for overnight accommodation. It is the Simple Leaf Shelter. An easy one to construct, and it's really important you learn this one. When you're choosing to put an overnight shelter or any type of accommodation, make sure it's not near no ditches or riverbeds or on a big slope, because that is big problems for you later on, maybe in the night when it's dark. So basically, you, like here, you choose a nice area which is pretty flat no foliage around you and this is where you'll construct your overnight shelter for your survival it's important you get it right now this is really important to get the right size of the shelter for each person because they're all different some tall and some small so what i normally do and what i was trained to do was first of all i'll put a nice marker for where my feet which is just about there then i'll lay down on the very dirt here like this and then a back by my head i'll put a marker this lets me know exactly how big the shelter has to be for when i start building it so we put the outline for the shelter now. Yeah, what I'm doing here, I'm actually making the doorway for the shelter. Um, I've got these two bits of wood here. This is for somewhere to stop all the insects and bugs from crawling into my shelter tonight. I've got my fire in front of me, which I'm going to light later on this evening when it gets a bit more dusk. This will keep away from the mosquitoes away and other insects. And I'll be in my shelter later, which will be approximately here, which I'm going to mark out in just a moment. And I shall be nice and warm for the night, yeah? These are the three main bearers of the uh, shelter we're going to construct, right? As you see, they're locked together and they could hold, but just for real safety, I've been a bit of cord with me today and I'm just going to tie a nice little loop on them because this is really where the strength of the shelter comes overnight and what we want to do is make sure it's all really nicely locked on. So I'm putting a nice little reef knot actually at the top here to hold it, which is a uh, very nice little knot there. There you go, nice and secure. Right. That is the three main bits, and from now we're going to now construct the rest of the shelter. I've been collecting loads of bits of odd bits of dead wood from around the local forest and area so I can build up the overnight shelter. This is how they really fit together. You put them together and you make sure they've got a nice way of connecting. There. This has really come together nice and strong now, as you can see, and it's tied together here, a cord round there, which has tied the central part together. I'm starting to make the complete format around here which is actually going to be a nice solid piece of uh, shelter for my night. So I've finished the shelter at last. You can stay a day or two. The name of this one is just the Simple Leaf Shelter. Ideal for when you're out in the wild and you're trapped out, but only for one or two days. After that, you should move on. But it's a nice one for an overnight to keep you nice and dry.